to a brand new girls talk video i am so excited that we're finally doing a girls talk again so let's cozy up together candles on grab yourself a nice hot steaming cup of tea i'm drinking this one today that i recently got on ibiza it's a sleeping tea and it's not the night time right now but i don't care i just want to be calm and relaxed just pretend like this is a pajama party maybe you are in your pajamas let me know what you're wearing in the comments down below also please grab yourself something nice to eat a nice snack i'm having a salted caramel cookie and this is just straight up heaven before we hop into the actual q a part of this video i first want to thank our sponsor of today Anna Luisa. For those of you who don't know already, Anna Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand and their philosophy is that high quality jewelry shouldn't cost a planet. That's why they make sure that their jewelry is both priced fairly and produced ethically and they are actually 100% carbon and water neutral which is amazing. All their shipping mailers and gift boxes are made of 100% recycled paper and their jewelry comes in these super cute pouches like these which are made of cotton and you can actually reuse these by storing your cash in these your credit cards or of course your jewelry and now getting into the actual jewelry Anna Luisa asked me to pick out some of their items and oh my god when i was on their website i just couldn't choose uh, all their items are so cute and i had actually never tried out their jewelry before i had heard of them especially because two of my favorite youtubers of all time have collaborated with anna luisa for their own collections so you might know them for rena joe for example she has come out with these beautiful moon earrings with all these different color stones and also nina from ono oh nina um, she's also a huge K-pop fan. These um, YouTubers both happen to be K-pop lovers like me. But um, she also brought out this beautiful necklace and I remember her making a video about the whole entire process and why she picked out the stone, etc. So I'm so excited that finally I own jewelry of them as well. So the first item that I chose is this Michelle set and it consists of three pieces and they're all made of 14k plated gold. And then I also got this other necklace that I think complements this set so so well and that is the Mish necklace which is also plated with 14k gold and the stone is a green aventurine then these matching earrings are the dobby set and they match the Mish necklace perfectly and i just love these jewelry pieces so so much i can't stress that enough and the best part about anna luisa is that their jewelry is not only sustainable and beautiful as you guys can see but also really fairly priced their jewelry actually starts at $39 which is an amazing deal if you ask me and it gets even better because with my discount code sandfender10 you get 10% off so make sure to click the link in my description and check out Anna Luisa for yourself and now let's get into the Q&A part of this video the girl talk which is all about love heartbreak hookups Let's get into the questions. So I asked you guys on my Instagram to send me questions and so many of you guys did. And I didn't even ask for a certain topic, but you guys all asked about love. So that is what we're going to talk about today. So the first question is, I'm dating a guy that I don't have any romantic feelings for and I don't know what to do. So first and foremost, I think you have to realize that you are unique. There's only one of you walking on this earth and that sounds so cliche to get started with, but it is so true. You are special, you are amazing, and you deserve to be with somebody that makes you happy, that you have mutual feelings for, and that basically treats you like the star that you are. So um, I think that the best advice I could give you when I read this is just be very, very honest, not only with the other person, but also with yourself. Why are you with them in the first place? Are you with them because it's just convenient? Are you 
too scared to break up with them maybe uh, first ask yourself why you're still in this situation even though you can already acknowledge to yourself that you don't have any romantic feelings and then decide what you can do with that so I think that it's better to just be straight up honest and maybe you guys can still be friends um, and then you will feel much more of a relief than just staying in a relationship for the sake of staying in a relationship whilst you know that you don't have the feelings that you're actually longing for. So of course I don't know your specific situation and I can imagine that it must be really really hard to break up with somebody but I just think that in life it's the best to listen to your heart and if you don't have the feelings for that person that you're secretly hoping you had then it's not a good sign. So next question, how to get over rejection? So I think rejection is one of the hardest parts in life when it comes down to friendships or even at school when you get a bad grade, but especially of course in love life because you can feel so worthless and just like nobody is ever gonna like you just because this one guy or girl or whatever person doesn't want you. And I'm here to be your friend and tell you that that is not true. Like I said, there's only one of you, you're special, you're unique, you're powerful and you're loved. There will be other people that will love you. And I'm a huge believer that everything happens for a reason. That might sound a little bit harsh at times, but I truly believe that everything is meant to be and even the most horrible things that happen in our lives are you know lessons that you need to learn from and um i've experienced my fair share of troubles <laughs> in my life um it might not seem like it from the outside but especially you know the last couple of years i've gone through a lot uh deaths in my family and just you know fights uh within my family which were really hard to deal with. Obviously I've gone through heartbreak and what I've learned from it is that if people decide to leave you, if people decide that you are not good enough for them, then they are not good enough for you. You deserve somebody that loves you truly 100% completely and if somebody chooses to reject you it's truly their loss. So I know it's obviously really hard but don't dwell on it too much just go on with your life have fun and you will meet the right person when it's the right time this person was just not for you and that is probably for a reason so just keep your head up keep smiling and the pain will eventually go away time will definitely heal that i'm sure of it and for now lots of hugs and kisses from me and by the way, if you guys want to talk about anything, you can always message me on TikTok or on Instagram, in my DMs or whatever. Uh, just find a way to contact me and I will definitely get back to you. I do get a lot of messages, but I always try to reply because I just want to be there for you as your friend. Um, you are always there for me, so I want to do the same for you. So if you have a problem or you want to talk more about these kind of topics, hit me up and I will reply. Okay. Next question, about relationships. I'm in a relationship for the first time and I'm 21, lol. So any tips that I don't know? Just be yourself is my biggest tip that I can give you. Please don't ever try to change for somebody else. Even though um, you might be a pleaser like me, I'm a huge pleaser and I always want everybody to think that I'm the best and I always make sure that everybody is comfortable and that they like me and that's good to a certain extent but please don't try to change yourself just so that you're likable to somebody else. That is a mistake that I've made in the past and I definitely regret that because if you're constantly trying to be somebody else in a relationship then that person is not actually with you because of who you are and it's really really exhausting for you so don't do that enjoy your relationship don't feel pressured by anything and um, to have sex for example is a really really big deal especially if it's your first relationship so don't rush into things if you're not comfortable with that then communicate communication is key in everything every part of life so just be open transparent when you don't agree 
talk about it try to not fight and raise your voice but definitely talk about it and also something that you might not expect or maybe you do but something that i didn't expect when going into a relationship for the first time was that it's definitely very important to still find time for yourself because at the end of the day you only have you the other person is just an extra but they are not there to complete you so please please keep that in mind it's always one plus one makes two and not a half and a half makes an equal that is a toxic relationship in my opinion so do try to find things that you like, uh, spend time with your other friends outside of your relationship. Still continue with your hobbies that you had before dating that person. I think it's really important so that if it eventually doesn't work out, you still have your own life and you're not completely dependent on that person. And even if, let's say, this relationship is forever, which of course I hope for you that it's forever, then it's also good that you have that power that you are your own person and you are an individual you are a whole and that makes not only you but also your partner much happier so yeah those are my tips i hope that helps and just try to enjoy it because the relationship should be fun so go on little dates and send me pictures on instagram tag me i love to see like your faces sometimes i chat with some of you guys and it's so much fun to see who you guys actually are because i do consider you guys my best friends so uh, i just can't wait to message with you okay um is it weird to want to wait for a guy that i actually like instead of a guy who i don't like no no definitely not like i said never settle for less um i think it's really important to wait for the one even though people always claim that it's something that only exists in fairy tales be down to earth and not believe in the magical prince on the white horse well i do believe in that i do believe that you will meet a person and then just instantly know that it's right and if you meet a person that you're not 100 percent sure of is gonna make you happy then why bother being in a relationship with them even if it's just a small doubt, I truly believe that it's best to listen to your heart, to your gut feeling. So yeah, definitely wait. And also guys, it's not that bad to be by yourself. Like we can have fun by ourselves. We don't need a partner. Girl power, okay? Mm. This cookie is so good. I wish I could share it with you. Here, take a bite. Do you think casual hookups are okay? definitely yeah you should do whatever makes you comfortable and if casual hookups are your thing and you feel comfortable with that then there's absolutely no shame um just do what makes you happy i personally could never really hook up casually because i just get way too emotionally attached to anybody that i meet in my life whether it comes to friendships or relationships like love relationships so i couldn't really do that you know casual thing and um yeah i just know that it's not for me and that it's something that i don't feel comfortable with but if you feel comfortable with it then just do you have fun it's also a great way i feel like to figure out what you want in life um if you're not sure whether or not you want to be in a relationship but you still want to hang out with people then it's a great way to do that just make sure that the other person also knows that it's a casual hookup because otherwise it's going to be a really awkward situation don't ever play with somebody's heart like that um just always be clear and upfront and honest and then there's really no problem and no shame in it so yeah definitely okay and please don't seek for validation from others um just find that validation within that's just something i want to warn you guys for because i've definitely experienced that where i thought that i always needed confirmation validation from other people in order to feel happy and satisfied in my life but now i realize as i grew older that it's really about what i think of myself and not what somebody else thinks about myself so last question already how to distract myself from thinking about my breakup help girl i just want to give you like a thousand hugs and cuddles and whatever it is that you need because breakups are hard 
Um, I'm not gonna pretend like they aren't. Heartbreak is just one of the worst pains ever. Um, and especially a fresh breakup, it's so hard to get out of bed and to do something. But that is my advice, as cliche as it might sound, but really distraction is key. And like you said, you are looking for distraction. So go out of your room, go out of your house and do something. Walk your dog, meet up with friends, go to a party if that you know uh, excites you. Read a book. I'm a huge reader. I have this like huge stack of books. Oh my god, my camera fell. Let me try that again. I have this huge stack of books um, near my bed and I just love to read every morning and every night because it distracts me from any negative thoughts that I have and just transports me to another world where everything is happy and I can just forget about my problems for a while. So that really helps me. Also talk about it with your friends or a family member or if you feel like you need it a therapist because it's really good to sort out your feelings and don't just bottle it up inside because that's definitely gonna come and haunt you in the long run talk about it write about it maybe you own a diary if you don't already i can highly recommend it journal and then when you write something down it's out of your head into the world and you can forget about it that's always how i feel it so yeah i hope that helps also try to distract yourself by eating lots of cookies uh, ice cream and burgers and just any food that's really good because after breakup you're allowed to eat that <laughs> you're allowed to treat yourself and final tip about this subject is that you're also allowed to cry um i know sometimes people have the tendency to just distract themselves and think that that means that they shouldn't allow their feelings to appear in their head but in my opinion that's just not healthy so it's okay to sometimes cry i feel miserable and think about it time will heal your wounds just trust and believe in yourself and know that that happened for a reason that person wasn't worthy of your love apparently and other people whether that is a significant other or your friends or family they love you so focus on that and that was it <laughs> those were my tips when it comes to love obviously i'm not a huge expert or anything but this is what i have gathered from living 25 years on this beautiful planet earth i can't believe that i'm 25 guys i constantly say to people that i'm 24 but that's such a lie i turned 25 in august and i still can't adjust to that age change it's ridiculous but yeah those were my tips let's open up a little discussion in the comments down below also make sure to check out anna luisa in the description box it's linked down below they're beautiful jewelry pieces i'm so incredibly happy with these let me show you guys them once again so super gorgeous by the way don't mind these spots i don't know why i have this i've had this for a couple of weeks and it doesn't disappear if you know a uh, good cream or anything like that to help soothe these spots let me know i'm on a hunt for one and i haven't found one that helps with that <laughs> but yeah don't focus on that. Focus on the jewelry. Go check out Ana Luisa. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye, loves.